In this video, I want to show you guys how I use 3D scanning and 3D printing to make a part that actually fits my front bumper. But first, let me tell you how I got to this point. Last summer, me and a couple of friends went to E-Town for Formula Drift. We had an absolute blast there, stuffed myself with a lot of Taco Bell because we don't have those where I'm from. And it was actually insane to be able to witness Adam LZ's first ever win in FD. But on the way back to the land of the poutine, I hit something on the road and messed up the whole bottom part of my bumper. This meant I needed a new front end for the car. And I asked you guys on Instagram, which bumper did you prefer between the Mach 1 style and the GT500 style? And the GT500 came on top. So I got the GT500 bumper, but there was still an issue. See, I currently have the Krodov white body kit on my Mustang, but the part that fits the front bumper will only fit the OEM front bumper. And this is where the magic begins. This is the CR scan ferret from Creality. Now, this is a hobby grade scanner. It's not as performant as your $10,000 scanner, but it is plenty for what I need. It comes with everything you need to be used with a smartphone handheld, but it can also be used directly with a laptop. This was my first ever time using a 3D scanner and it took me a couple of tries to get a good scan, but I got one and it looks like this. After getting a good scan, I imported it into my laptop and opened it up in Blender. It took me a couple of days to figure out the design I wanted and I decided to make the part fit the body line of the side of the bumper. And the next step is to send the part to the slicer. For those who don't know, the slicer is the program that will generate the code to be sent out to the printer so the printer can print whatever it want to print. Now guys, this was my first ever time 3D printing stuff and it took me a while to figure out the good settings, but we finally got a good part. Now, since we printed in multiple parts, we need something to glue them together. And I will be using super glue to glue the corners together. Then it should look something like this. We will then need to reinforce the backside of the part. I decided to use my plastic welder and some metal mesh for added durability. Once that's done, we will need some kind of filler for the back, but also for the front of the part. You can use Bondo, but I'm a big fan of JB Weld's plastic bonder, uh, especially for plastic parts. Now, listen, I am no TJ Hunt. I'm a one man team here. So I got carried away and did a whole bunch of sending and prepping uh, without filming. Before applying the primer, this is mandatory on plastic part, guys. If you want to paint to flake, you need adhesion promoter and then you can use your high build filler primer. After a whole bunch of sanding, I wrapped the part in some gloss black that I had laying around. Now, the funny thing is, by the end of this whole process, I figured I wasn't too happy with the design I made. But that's okay, because I'll just have to design something new and repeat this whole process. If you made it all the way to the end of the video, let me know what you guys think. Leave a like, a comment, and I'll see you guys on the road.